God's family. From the book, The Power of Generosity, by David Toyson. Deborah was widowed in the genocide of 1994. After that, Deborah relied heavily on her children. Her son, Innocent, was a special help. Deborah prayed every morning in the back of her house. One morning, in April of 1997, she had a terrifying vision. Innocent would be killed. They prayed together. Just a few nights later, soldiers came to the door. The leader asked for Innocent. He told Deborah they would not hurt Innocent. But minutes later, she heard gunshots. Innocent was dead. Oh God, how could you allow this? She wept and she prayed. One morning at prayer, Deborah was shown a vision. She saw an abyss with a bridge across it. On the bridge was a house. And beneath the house were these words. The way to heaven is through the house of your enemy. What did that mean? Deborah didn't know. But she shared it with her church and they prayed together. They began to hope for something redemptive to come from the tragedy. A few weeks later, the soldiers returned. Deborah thought they had come back to kill her. The head soldier posted the others outside, and then he came in. Then he asked Deborah to pray for him. They knelt together in prayer. Deborah did pray for him. Then the soldier began to cry. My name is Charles. I am the one who killed your son. Please, will you forgive me? Or if you can't forgive me, then turn me in and let me pay. Let them kill me as I killed your son. Oh, Lord, what to do? Many verses filled her heart. I tell you, love your enemies. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Overcome evil by good. As she prayed, her vision filled her heart. The way to heaven is through the house of your enemy. She began to weep. And they cried together. Then Deborah said, Your only punishment is to take the place of my son. And Charles said, I am now your child. And Charles, who had lost his entire family in 1994, became her son. Together they shared what God had done. And God continues God's work of love through them, even today, even